Welcome back to Discovering Geometry with Mrs. Berry. This is lesson 13. Today we'll be talking about angle relationships. But first, I want to point out that we are working on investigations from your book, and we will be coming up with conjectures. It's suggested to use a section of your binder or separate spiral to keep all of your investigations together. Most of the time, you'll be drawing things in your notebook and measuring, and it's a good habit um, for us to keep that all together. You could write down the title, an illustration or procedure that you've done, and a statement summarizing your results. It's also good to keep up with the important or the named conjectures that we are working on also. So today we are doing the linear pair conjecture. What you'll want to do is get out a clean sheet of paper, and it really doesn't matter if it's notebook paper, you're just going to be drawing on it. We're gonna draw a straight line and we're gonna label it PQ. Then you're gonna to want to place a point R somewhere between P and Q on the line. Then you wanna choose another point S that is not on the line and draw the line RS. You have just created a linear pair of angles. Place your protractor along PQ. You're going to want the zero point right at the point of R. Measure these two angles. What do they add up to be? What do you notice about the sum of the measures of the linear pair of angles that you drew? If you want to test it out, you can draw this again. Or if you have a friend who's working this class with you, compare your results with theirs. If two angles form a linear pair, then what? What did you find out about the sum of their angles? measures. Hopefully you have something along the lines of, if two angles form a linear pair, then the measures of the angles add up to 180 degrees. That makes sense because a line would be 180 degrees by itself. Anywhere that you draw an angle in between should just divide that 180 degrees into two parts. So a linear pair of angles should add up to 180 degrees. Investigation two is the vertical angles conjecture. For this one, you want to use paper that you'll be able to see through a little bit. Draw two intersecting lines onto patty paper or tracing paper and label the angles as shown. So one, two, three, four. Which ones are vertical angles? Two and four and one and three. Remember our definitions are that vertical angles are across from each other using the same lines. Then fold the paper so that the vertical angles lie over each other. You're gonna have to fold it right on the intersection and then maybe rotate a little bit so the angles are right on top of each other. What do you notice? I checked both sets of vertical angles. Go ahead and repeat this investigation 
another time with a different pair of intersecting angles. Make sure you make these angles the second time very different from what you made your angles the first time. When you fold them on top of each other, what do you notice about their measures? So your vertical angles conjecture should start out with, if two angles are vertical angles, then what? What did you find? It should read something like, if two angles are vertical angles, then their measures are the same, or then they are congruent angles. You should have found when you folded them on top of each other, they matched up exactly. Those angles would measure the same. So we've been using these investigations and our inductive reasoning to write conjectures. But do you think these two conjectures are related? Could we somehow, if we accept the linear pair conjecture as true, use it to prove the vertical angles conjecture by deductive reasoning. So remember that inductive reasoning was looking at the different cases and drawing a conclusion. Deductive reasoning would be to reason out from one to another to give the why. Let's look at this set of vertical angles and see if we can come up Um, with a method to prove the vertical angles conjecture. So the linear pair conjecture said that every linear pair of angles adds up to 180 degrees. We're going to write a logical argument explaining why angle one must be congruent to angle three. Well, we can see that the measures of one and two will add up to 180 degrees. And the measures of two and three will add up to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180. Remember, we're assuming that the linear pair conjecture is true. Then we're going to say that the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three also equals 180. If we were to substitute this part in for that 180, we could say that the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three is equal to the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two. So we just said because one and two add up to 180 and this statement adds up to 180, I'm just gonna swap out and substitute one and two for 180. Now I have measure of angle two on both sides. What if I subtract that on both sides? I'm gonna subtract the measure of angle two on both sides of the equation. That keeps my equation balanced. Now I have that the measure of angle three is equal to the measure of angle one. So one and three measure the same, meaning they're congruent angles. If we talk this out and write it as a paragraph, we would call it a paragraph proof. Remember converses? Consider the vertical angle conjecture. If two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. The converse would be switching the if and then parts. So in this case, the converse would be, if two angles are congruent, then they are vertical angles. Is that true? If you can find even one counter example, 
meaning one example that mean that finds two congruent angles that are not vertical angles, then it's not true. Here would be one example. If I have a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle over here, they are congruent angles. I can mark them as congruent. But they don't use the same lines. They're not opposite of each other. So these are not vertical angles. That means that the converse of the vertical angle conjecture is not true. That's it for today's lesson. We'll see you next time.